Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ed with edhard.me and I think that one of the best ways to learn to use SketchUp is to actually make something and so uh, for this extended SketchUp snippet I'm going to go over how to make this farmhouse table uh, and uh, I'm going to really go over it from start to finish in four steps uh, so four different videos and this is a table uh, the plan can be originally found on Anna White's website, a fantastic website. I highly recommend you go check it out. And if you want to see how I actually built this table step by step, swing, come on over to uh, edhart.me and uh, check that out. So let's just dive in and uh, let me show you a variety of different tools as I actually draw this table out. So I'm going to start out. This first video is going to be the, the base uh, and legs of the table. And it's made out of two by fours. So I want to go ahead and start by getting some two by fours drawn out on the canvas. And I'm going to do uh, do the legs. Uh, each of the legs, if I jump back over here, is made out of two two by fours. Spin that around so you can see two two by fours with a bridle joint here. And then there's a joint up top. Oops, excuse me, sorry about that. There's a joint right up top. And uh, so I'll start out by drawing uh, some with my uh, rectangle tool. I prefer the rectangle tool over just the pencil tool because I can draw an entire rectangle um, at once. But our legs are going to be three and a half inches uh, thick, which is the, the actual thickness of a two by four, and 28 and one half inches tall. So. There's a plane, and now I'll grab my push-pull tool and turn that into a 2x4, which is actually 1 and 1 half inches thick. And uh, turn that into an object by triple-clicking it, or excuse me, turn it into a group by triple-clicking it. And I'll copy, which is con Command-C and Command-V for paste. So there are two legs, and I'm going to when I'm making something, I want to draw as few things as possible, and where I can copy and mirror things, I'm going to I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm going to use this pattern for these two legs to actually create all four groups of legs. Then I know there's going to be a cross beam um, between uh, the the legs going uh, the, for the width of the table that's 34 and a half inches and then a cross beam going right down the middle of the table that's 57 and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and draw uh, those and uh, I'll start right here so I can sort of keep them uh, keep everything right next to each other. So first off we'll uh, draw this one uh, 34 and one uh, Oops, one half inches. And you see I'm typing these dimensions down in the bottom right. And that's by one, excuse me, three and one half inches. So again, I'll take my push-pull tool and turn that into a two by four. And then turn it into a group. And lastly, I want to draw a beam that is 57 and a half inches. So I'll come out here and go 57 and one half inches by three and one half inches. And again, turn that into a two by four. Okay, so now I've got some, uh, some raw material to work with. And I've just drawn this out there all laying uh, horizontally on their side on my canvas. So I'm definitely going to need to flip them around. The orientation of this beam will stay exactly where it is. So I'm going to take my move tool. I'm just going to move that guy out of the way, but keep it right along the red axis. Um, these two legs, they definitely need to stand up. So let me click off of this beam, grab my move tool again. Again, and I'm just going to move that cross beam out of the way. And I'll grab these two guys, and now use my hand to position things, and I'll scroll bar. So I'm going to change the orientation of these first and foremost to stand them up on end. So I'm going to flip them on the red axis, and 
I'll just pull that up. I can type 90 down in the bottom right. And I also want to flip those around uh, along the, the, uh, the, the blue axis. Get those facing in the right direction. So I'll, once again, I'll go around 90 degrees. And this beam actually will also turn uh, 90 degrees on the, uh, on the blue axis. And I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. Well, actually, I, I can do it right here. Oh, wrong one. And I flip that over. And right now, I don't care that it's uh, mixed in uh, with these, but I also want to uh, also need to flip it on the the red axis. So kind of move my cursor around here and see if I can. Sometimes you just got to move your cursor around to get uh, the axis that you want. Come on. There we go. And I'll flip that right on up like that. OK. So now let me zoom to the extents, click off of that, and grab my move tool and just change these guys to go right next to each other. Now, if I if I look here, I've got this bridle joint and then this joint up here on my legs. And to create those, I'm going to use my pen tool and guides, but I also want to uh, just move them apart just a little bit because I'm going to be exploding them and working with the individual faces. So, whoop. so grab my hand, zoom in just a little bit. Um, so. I know my joints are going to be three and a half inches from the bottom, so I want to draw a guide up three and one half inches, and then the, this two by four right here is going to slide right in here. So I know I want to go up another three and a half inches, and then on the inside leg, I want to come down three and one half inches. So to create my joints, I need to select both groups and explode the faces. There we go. Now grab my pencil tool and I'm going to draw a line on the inside leg. Come down here and draw lines right there and right there. And now I can use my push-pull tool to create the joints. So I'll, you see just that that face lights up, and I'll push that in one and one half inches. Push that one in one and one half inches, and I'll do the same right here one and one half inches. And so let me regroup these because if I tell you what, if I don't group them and I try to start moving things around, weird stuff happens. Look at that. So uh, we don't want weird things to happen, so we're going to turn these back into objects or groups, excuse me, I keep saying objects, but that's not what they are. I'm going to triple click and make a group. So now if I rotate and grab the corner of the inside leg, I can snap it right next to the corner of the outside leg. And I know that I want to essentially mirror these two uh, two by fours that make one leg on the other side. So I'm just going to select both of them. I'll hit Command C to copy and Command V to paste. I can place these right next to each other and then just move them a little bit to the side. Swap a leg by grabbing the corner and matching it up on the opposite side. Next thing I'd like to do is turn these two into a group by holding my Shift key down selecting both of them and making that a group. And then I'll do the same thing here, make that a group. Now it's pretty easy to manipulate them. I'm going to grab my cross beam that's been laying over here. And I know I want to move this corner to that corner. So the nice thing about SketchUp is it will snap to. And I can grab that and uh, move to that corner. And now I 
want to do the same thing with this group and I know I want that corner right there to match up with that corner so I'll grab my move tool again and there we go so the one thing that I didn't do I should have done this before is I need to create my joint in the middle of this cross beam and uh, I don't want to move anything around because I've already got it positioned just right so I can grab this leg and this leg and I can just simply hide them for a few minutes while I make that change. I'm going to use guides to do this again and so first off I want to put a guide right in the middle of the uh, right in the middle of this cross beam and uh, if I, I'll pull that out and, and pull my uh, tape measure right along the edge and SketchUp will snap to the midway point. You see how it's just sort of snapping there? So I'm going to put a guide here and I know that that um, my, my beam right here is going to fit in the middle of it and that's three and a half inches thick so I just I'll measure out a guide that is about uh, an inch and three quarters on each side. So one let's do 1.75 75 that way and 1.75 that way. Do exactly the same thing with my pencil tool. Hit escape to let go. Draw another line right there. Hit escape to let go. Once again I need to explode the faces. Grab my push pull tool. Push that down one and one half inches. Turn that back into a group and zoom out. Nope, zoom this way. Um, so I want to view my legs, and I can do that by viewing hidden geometry, selecting both of those legs, and hitting unhide. So now I just need to place this cross beam where it goes and I know I want that corner to match up with that corner so I'll grab it, move it, and there we go. So we're pretty close now. All I have to do is mirror this whole end structure and stick it on the other end of the cross beam. So to do that I'm just going to select all of the pieces. I'll put them together in a group. I'll hit command copy Command V to uh, paste it and I'll stick it right next to what I have and I'm going to flip it around so I can come up here on the blue axis and grab the uh, group and just flip that around 180 degrees 180 then grab it with the push-pull tool, excuse me, the move tool, stick it back here and I can grab uh, the uh, corner and it would help for me to scroll out a little bit. Grab the corner and just drag it right along to here. So now if I rotate around I have the base of my table created. Now I've got a bunch of guides over here that I've used. So if I want to get rid of those I can do edit delete guides and there we have the base of the table. So I'll show you um, just like that one. So that's already created. So that's going to be step one. I'll wrap this up and the next video I'll show you how to create the skirt that supports the tabletop. But uh, we'll stop there. If you Again if you want to see uh, and download a copy of this plan to mess around with it yourself and then also see how I built the entire table head on over to edhart.me and uh, check that out as well as a bunch of other cool projects.